Uh, Peter, it's been a couple of days since that game at Dagenham. Uh, mm. Just what are your reflections on that? Because the boys seem to be in very high spirits going into tomorrow's match. Yeah, so they should be. I mean, obviously, when you look at it in the perspective of a disappointment from Saturday and then a complete turnaround on Tuesday, um, you know, I think that the comeback win and coming from behind and showed real resilience and real character, um, and they've got every right to be, you know, happy and stuff like that. But now we've got to focus on on tomorrow. Um, so they'll they'll be they'll be grounded and, and ready to go tomorrow. Um, as I said previously, I, I, on reflection, maybe Saturday's performance, although it was never good, it wasn't as bad as we thought in regarding the five-one. I think they were just very clinical on the day. And um, we have to be a bit more resilient in, in the games when we do go behind, uh, as we were on, as we showed on Tuesday. So, so it's slowly progression, and we've talked about progression now. And, and the next thing is now we've got a, another tough challenge on the road, uh, a, another one of the fancy teams this year. If we've not County obviously knocking us out of the playoffs last season. For the boys who have remained over the summer, does that add a bit of edge to this one? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, 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 I don't, you know, it is a new team, we're, we're a new group, um, even those that were here last year, it's still part of a new group um, and, it's a, and it's a fresh start for everybody, so um, obviously because they did so well last year in the playoffs, Notts County and obviously in the trophy, you know, they went quite far in the trophy, uh, right up to the last hurdle, um, so they're, they're going to be one of the more fancied teams, they've not been down this division too long, so they're looking to still be able to bounce back. Um, so it's just going to be a real tough challenge, and like I said, it's uh, you know with the with the no crowds as well that that may may give us a, a small edge, but but it's about us on the day, and if we can if we can move forward from Tuesday's game and be better again with certain little bits of our game that we say we weren't happy with, we were a little bit disappointed with, we could have had you know, maybe a, a bit better quality in the final third with balls into the box. Uh, maybe a bit better communication, and, and it's about you know them small steps. And if we can do that tomorrow, then uh, then I'm I'm confident that we can give them a game and, and be competitive against them. Uh, we signed Michael Petrasso this week. Just tell us a bit about how that one's come about and a little update on him. Uh, so Michael's Michael came about again. We made contact with a few people regarding players that we were looking for and or trying out the types of player we were looking to pinpoint. And um, Michael's agent got in contact and. Uh, we looked at some footage, we obviously looked at his past history in the UK um, and, uh, and he was very well thought of at QPR um, but unfortunately as, as a lot of players do at a tender age they, they sort of lose their way a little bit so, so I think he went home and um, looked to, to rebuild his career there um, and, he's, and he's, he's tricky, he's quick, he's robust, he's, uh, you know, he's going to be an asset for us. Um, so, uh, so we're looking forward to him coming in. Um, he's had to, obviously, coming in from Canada. It's not one of the quarantine countries, I don't think. But obviously, travelling in, we've we've kept him away from the training ground for five days. Uh, he'll be tested today, so hopefully we'll have that result back tonight. And then, um, and then obviously he'll be in contention. Then maybe for Tuesday, we just don't know. I mean, I've spoken to him yesterday, and, and he hasn't done a huge amount. <coughs> excuse me, regarding football kept himself extremely fit but um, but obviously like a lot of players at the moment we're seeing a lot of players coming in and they haven't done much ball work on the grass so so we'll see but it, but it, the fact is he's coming in um, he, he could you know like I said he could it'd be a very valuable asset for us this year back to tomorrow afternoon's match big pitch up at Meadow Lane and we've got players in wide areas in Elliot, Efron, JJ who can really cause problems is that something you're going to look to exploit? Yes, as I said, we're just looking to add blocks to, to what we've to the foundations we've set now for after Tuesday. We've we've obviously said after the game that that's the minimum standard for work rate, commitment, and effort. Um, add to that the quality of the players that we've got. You'd like to think that we'll be we'll be competitive, and if we can give them a game and get on the front foot, we're um, you know we're extremely dynamic going forward when we when we hit our stride. Um, but we're also we can also be quite resilient defensively as we showed on Tuesday, limiting them to, I think, a goal from a set piece and then one off the bar that came from a set piece also. So again, we need to tie up on that. But in open play, we were, we've been quite, you know, we've been sat at the Tuesday, we were, we were quite strong, quite solid. So 
So we just build on that now, and it's, it's exactly exactly that. We're just building on the blocks that we've now put in place that are the good ones. Um, so, uh, so like I said, we're trying to get rid of the bad ones and and bring in and you can sort of keep building on them on them good blocks. Just lastly, the the group on the pitch obviously has shown a bit more cohesion between Saturday and Tuesday with their performance. But off the pitch, it seems the boys are becoming a lot more tighter in terms of their mentality and their spirit together. Uh, yeah, I've got, but I mean, again, it's what you'd expect. It's the, it's the least you'd expect. I mean, they're, they're spending, you know, they're spending more time with one another now. Um, obviously, there was a little bit of um, uh, it was uh, there was a little bit of uncertainty amongst some of the players that were coming in and, and training with us before they'd been offered anything. Um, so there was always that apprehension there. But but they're gelling together as a group. Obviously, I know it sounds silly, but the performance on Saturday would have gelled them together and made them tighter. And then obviously again on Tuesday would have made them tighter again. So coming back from being one down and and doing that that makes them that bonds them together even more. So they're they're building good bonds. They're building a good a good group ethic. Um, and there'll be like I said as you know the, the more games we have as together as a group and the more training we have together as a group, I can only see them getting stronger and stronger as a group. And and collectively you're you know you're only as strong as your weakest man and. You'd like to look around the changing room now and say that we've got, you know, pretty good, strong characters right throughout the group. So, um, so and if, and if for whatever reason one of them's not on it on the particular day, then there'll be ten others around him to pick him up and drag him through to get him over the line. And, and that's what it's all about to be successful. We need to make sure we have that sort of atmosphere and that spirit within the camp. So, like I said, every day they they train and work together. They're becoming stronger, tighter knit. Um, and, and that's not to say that they don't fall out. Of course they fall out, but. But it's uh, but that's again part of being a successful group is that you you're gonna not always agree on the same things as we go along. So, but they're every game they've played so far. Certainly the two games we've had, they you know together they've come together as a group, and uh, and and our quality of play is getting much better as well. And, and it was always going to take a little bit of time to gel properly. Um, but uh, but we're happy with where they are right now. And, and I said we've got you know in a way it's been good for us to you know have that humbling on Saturday, but then have two fancy teams away from home on the road, because I know that, you know, what we know, that the players can't rest on their laurels, they're going to have to be at it to compete. Um, so maybe that's a good thing as well. So, we're, so we'll be on the front foot, we'll be nice and positive. Our philosophy has always been to go and try and win the game. Uh, so whether that, whether that be in the first 20 minutes or in the last five minutes, whichever will be, we'll want to be in contention right until the final whistle. And if we can do that, then like I said, we'll be, you know, we're going to be tough to break down.